Hey, it's Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. I'm back here today with my good friend and former boss, Steve Fine, former director of photography at Sports Illustrated and current photo editor at Flipboard. And we are going to critique some more pictures. Well, first of all, crop this thing yeah, properly, yeah. please. And second of all, um, it's difficult. There's only one angle to shoot from, which is generally behind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just there's no drama. There's no, no. color. There's no. no you know. He's got the ball in there. Yeah. The players are sharp. Uh, you know, but it's just like you want the jumping, you know, the yeah. diving shot or the yeah. jumping shot or something that is extraordinary because otherwise it's just a couple well, of Well, one of the problems with any sports picture is if they're, you know, plastered to the ground, yeah. there's just no yeah. energy. Yeah. And I know this is a very difficult sport to shoot. I mean, I've seen guys put remotes up against the, the dasher. Uh -huh. um, and you get them kind of running right at you in wide angle, you know, like the way David Clutho does the uh, the hockey pictures uh -huh. when he puts it in the in the boards. But <sighs> yeah, you're gonna have to do something more creative than this. And going up high doesn't help because then no, you just got just little heads moving right, and yeah. and you got glass around there. It's a yeah. difficult sport to shoot, but you need them coming at you, um, yeah. and not. And, and or hitting the ball or following through or crashing into each other. I don't know. It's just, this is not working. That's good. Crop it tighter. Well, I guess they were trying to keep the shadow. I don't know if the shadow matters that much. I'd get in. Now, the problem is the, the fielder, is the, sharp. Se the second baseman is sharp. Okay. The problem is your eye is going to the runner right. and he is out of focus. Is Motion. This, is this first, isn't this first base? First well, look base. at his glove. Oh. So I'm thinking the second baseman made the play, because uh -huh. that does not look like a first baseman's glove to me. Right, right. Um, well, at least something is sharp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, um, your eye is going to the runner, Yeah. and it's a mess. This was, this was shot at, at, at F7.1. Everything should be sharp. I mean, it's a 135 millimeter lens, at, at, almost at F8. And an and, 800th, yeah. yeah. Well, what maybe, are the, so maybe that's a little motion blur on the runner. It's a lot of motion blur. Yeah. I would suggest the following. Do you remember back in the day we did a down the line essay in oh, baseball? Yes. Yeah. Because the theory was it's the game played between the white lines. Yeah. What actually happens on the white lines? And I have suggested over the years that somebody with a long lens go all the way down the right field foul line, right to where the pole mm. is, okay? and shoot back at the runner. So now you've got the runner yeah. coming to first, looks like somebody at a track meet, yeah. okay? And whatever is going on with the field is going on with the field. Sometimes the helmet is flying right, off, right. and you've got that beautiful white line bisecting the picture. Yeah. No one ever goes down the right field line anymore and shoots the runner coming. If there's a bunt play, now yeah. you've got the pitcher or the catcher picking Everybody up the ball, throwing it. You've got, you got yeah. a lot of things, Balls and it's yeah. all about that white line holding the picture together. Otherwise, you end up with a mess like this. Uh, okay. Well, I need the paddle up in the air. I need him rocking a little bit more. Yeah. He's got a very uh, static expression on his face. That's what troubles me, because I go to him immediately. I mean, it's nice that you, you could say crop it or you could say not crop it because you're showing the, the turbulent waters. But then I see his face, and he's like, "Yeah." The the photographer made a good picture of turbulent water and forgot that yeah. he had a statue in the middle yeah. of it. Yeah. Hockey pictures. Yeah. I love hockey. It is a great, great sport. <laughs> there are two kinds of hockey pictures: brilliant or boring. <laughs> this apparently seems to be the. the uh, it's the more ladder. of the latter. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, I mean, here's the puck. Pop, pop. It's a goal, but. It might be. It might have been a save. Yeah. Um, there is there's no good face. No. 
Um, you got this guy's crotch. This, this guy, yeah. The, 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 um, the shooter is obscured by his own, um, you know, shoulder. Um, the colors are awful. Well, um, it's, it's, a, it's a small hockey rink. It's not a pro big professional arena, so yeah. the light is God knows what kind of, what yeah. kind of color. It's just, it there's not enough action. No. Okay, the no. goalie, if you get No the, action, no faces. Yeah, you need the goalie making a, you know, a kick safe and a beauty. Yeah, really stretching out, really yeah. stretching out. Yeah. You, need, you need to, I mean, when this guy first went over, there might have been something interesting, but now he's yeah. already on the ice with his yeah. butt towards it. And, and it's a possibility that puck is going gonna, is gonna to slide past the net, uh, uh, you yeah. know, without the goalie even having made a save. So this is too, it's just boring. Yeah. This doesn't work. Oh, uh, this is about a half an hour late. Yeah. I mean, I... Well, it's about the expression. Well, then fine. Then can crop the damn picture so I can see where the I picture mean, it's, is. It's I unfortunate mean, you end up with a bunch of legs, but I mean... Yeah, but this guy on the right yeah. looks like goofball yeah. over there. I mean... Well, they probably just throwing a flag. And he's starting the traditional DB... Uh, it, it, yeah. no, yeah, it, it wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. I mean... This is much better. All those guys standing around before. Yeah. Come on, yeah. you know, like well, it's, it's where's the picture? The where's the picture in the picture here? That's slightly better, but it is again, you know, it's about five minutes late. Yeah, and it's uh, kind of it's been over sharpened. Yeah, yeah. I I think this is a time to make a point about. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with images now in Photoshop and in other programs, but with a sports photo, it's best not to do them. If it's not sharp in the beginning, it's never going to get sharp. Uh, if it's got a lot of noise in it, well, you can reduce it a little bit, but you're going to sacrifice sharpness. Um, I think the things is sharpness and cropping and getting a good background and not, not messing with things uh, after the fact in post-production. Okay. Oh, here we go. Soccer. Um, Footy. Yeah. I mean, no. Because of the leg over yeah. there, you can't really do that. You could do that. You well, know, open it up. Um, okay, soccer pictures are tough <laughs> because you really want to shoot from um, the baseline, from you know, from the end line right. where the goalie is, because you want to have faces coming at yes. you. Okay, yes. as you pointed out earlier, you're going to have a lot of um, people looking down because. Yeah. Even the pros still look to see right. where the ball is, yeah. most of them. But. Okay, this is pretty good, okay? I love the action um, of the, him about to kick, okay? Yeah, the foot's right on the ball. Yeah, the colors, the exposure, everything's right. really, really nice yeah. here. Um, you know, the thing that you want to do sometimes, <laughs> if the picture isn't quite right, you know like that tennis picture we mm -hmm. were talking about earlier? Um, you want to move the ball. Except you can't move the ball. No, okay, you if can't move you, the ball, you, you, you cannot can't. change the context and the perspective. You cannot change the news angle of the ball. Okay, sometimes news is messy and things don't line up the way they they, they should. Okay, um, you can't move players. You can't take this foot out. I you mean, cannot. You cannot. That's right. Exactly I mean, in this crop. Okay, you cannot do that at all. I, I should now for the AP and. People have been fired for as they should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and this is always a you know constant thing. You know, so sports you, is messy. Okay, yeah. if you wanna if you wanna have perfect pictures, you know, go to a golf tournament. Okay, <laughs> because people aren't running around and cluttering up your picture. Yeah. Okay. Um, now the good photographers are going to have you know clean backgrounds, nothing growing out of mm -hmm. anybody's head. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you're not shooting for a an art gallery. Okay? If you are shooting for an art gallery and you want to take something out of the picture, fine. If you're shooting a portrait, and this happened to us a lot at Sports oh, Illustrated, yeah. you would pick a, a blue background and the art director back would, in New York would change it would, to, to, to you know, gray. Orange, yeah. Okay. Um, I believe that if you are, anything you can change in the dark room is okay. So if the background was red and then it became gray, you haven't changed the, the subject, you haven't changed anything about it. In a perfect world, I would send you back out there for another $5,000 and you would change the red background to gray, okay? That you can now do it in Photoshop, again, does not change the fundamental part of that portrait, okay? It's merely a color change and I'm okay with that, all right? However, if you are shooting in someone's house, um, and you have 
uh, memorabilia on the wall. Mm -hmm. You can't rearrange <laughs> that stuff, okay? You cannot no. change reality. No, no, no. That's, I mean, in any kind of work for magazines, wire services, any journalistic work, you just can't do it. It's tempting. Uh, every week when I look at my AP take, I, I think, wow, I could just take that out, I could just take that, but you don't do it. No. You can't do it. It's not right. No. Absolutely. Um, so this, again, just to wrap this, I mean, I, I think it's okay. I, 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 the whole picture's going in, the, in, in one way. It's, it's, it's all going here. I'd like to see more of his face uh, and a little bit more of his chin up. He almost looks like he's got his eyes closed. But I like this guy actually looking back. He's, he, yeah, you know. This, is, this has been improved by cropping, Yeah, as yeah, so often happens. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, soccer's tough. Swimming. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, that's really nice. You got good hands. You got good water. The focus is spot on. Yeah. Her mouth is perfect. Um, this is really nice. Um, the only suggestion I would make, and we both learned this way back in 1992 from the great and powerful Heinz Klutmeier, the red lane markers near yeah. the near the near the uh, the finish line. Okay, just elevate the picture. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Yellow is okay. It means I'm sorry, but the red is like roses. Well, I, I, had, I had that opener from Barcelona. That was me. Because the, of the, the red, red lane yeah, markers yeah. that Heinz was telling us about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. always shoot the red lane markers yeah. if you can. If you can. Uh, but yeah, this is very nice, uh, and especially it's a kind of different look at the breaststroke, which traditionally you shoot coming at you. But this is the great. hands are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything, Everything about this is composed. Water. This is a textbook how to shoot the breaststroke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, rugby. Rugby. <laughs> this is good. This is, this is good. pretty good. The yeah, guy yeah. with the ball is perfect. Yeah. We've got one guy's head cut off at the top yeah. and one guy's head cut off at the bottom, but the guy with the ball is good. Yeah. And then, again, talking about sports being messy, you know, soccer's especially messy, football and rugby. You know, yeah. bodies are everywhere. Some people are in the play. Some people aren't in the play. Uh, this is a pretty de this is a decent job. One of the nice things about rugby is you can see the faces. They're not yeah. wearing helmets. Yeah. So I would yeah. encourage more rugby pictures. Yeah. <laughs> and especially in the mud, in the rain, where right. they slide and everything. Right. Uh, you cannot get enough weather in pictures. I know weather. here in Southern California, you only have one kind of weather. Okay. Well, you have two, <laughs> fire and mud. Yeah. Okay, but when you have snow, Oh my God, how many pictures have been improved by snow oh, in Green Bay yeah, at Lambeau yeah. Field? If you have rain, if you have mud, if you have those old fashioned 50s and 60s pictures, you know, of the guys that. Well, when know, the fields used to be really tear up, now they don't tear up. They're either artificial or they're a prescription serve. But high school games, you're going to get, you're gonna get, get that. that stuff. Small college. Yeah, same thing. yeah. And three, yeah. the weather pictures dramatically improve yeah. uh, your yeah. take. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this like is this. this is right after the race. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about pregame, and now this is a little bit Talk about post -game. after the moment. Yeah, yeah. Or they're in a sauna. I'm not <laughs> quite sure. But uh, no, I, I like this a lot with the with the water and and the guys down and this. I like guy. everything about yeah, this picture. Yeah, I this, would run. I would run this picture. This is really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It's clearly a you know a, a road racing you know uh, type of event. Maybe a marathon. Maybe a triathlon. Uh, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's it's really really effective. Yeah. I feel really I feel their pain. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Where's up. the ball? Yeah, where's, where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the one? Probably in, in there. there. Where's the oh, ball? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. I don't want to give the rest away, but okay. All right. Let's start again on this. Lacrosse. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's a tough sport to shoot. It's a great sport to watch. Yeah. I mean, it combines all the elements of, you know, the, the soccer and hockey and what have and you. And you can hit people with sticks. And, which is, uh, and what you, sport cannot be, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you not love with people hitting themselves with sticks? However, I got to see the ball. And the ball is very small. And, this, and, and, and it's they, white. And, and it's, it's a white ball <laughs> in a white netting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they're wearing cages. Yeah. Um, and he's plastered to the ground. And... This, I, I, you know, I, and I, I, I mean, on the good side, um, I like this guy in the background because he's looking right at him. He's not standing there doing something stupid. Um, you know, it, it is. It's a, it's a tough sport, and it's rare that you get a really great shot. But I think this is this is decent if you give the fact that the the ball is a given there. I don't know where the ball is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh dear. 
Well, you get a little sense of place built into the visor. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there's your place right there. <laughs> Every week I see a picture of the, the fire fighting core at the uh, Formula One races uh -huh. where they zero in on the, uh, on the, the helmet, okay, right. and you can see the cars going through the, you know, around the track. I mean, it, I like it. I just don't love it. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's a... He I, made something out of that visor yeah. that is better than just, you know, a, a blurred mess. Um, it's cropped well, it's good colors. A little close on this side. He needs about another, a little bit more room on that side, I think, but... No, this, this is nice, and he, he had, looks like he had a crop in pretty far yeah. to get that visor, but it, it, it does kind of work. But he didn't... Oversaturate. He didn't filter it. No. He didn't mess around with no. it, as no. you were pointing out. Um, it's solid, and I kind of like the reflection of the field in his uh, in his visor. Yeah, I just hate visors. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, uh, so, what are we looking at? The refraction. I mean, is that the point of this? What's the point of this picture? I'm not sure. What's the message here? Uh, that, that he was standing in the wrong, the right place or the wrong place. You know, the right place to get an, a, the wrong place to get an action picture, the right place to get a sort of interesting picture. I mean, it's just kind of one of those flukes that happen. But is it a good fluke? I, you know, y yes and no. Not for, not for uh, you know, a story in the paper uh, or a story in a magazine, but I think for a cool picture it is. And something to be said for just having a cool picture. Okay. I don't think it works. All right. Not even with a crop? <laughs> no, it's the bullseye that I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah, yeah oops. <laughs> I did that again. Um, yeah, no, it's, you either like it or you hate it. Well, I think it is improved with a crop okay. a lot. Yeah, but now it's like, now the bullseye is what I'm, now, again, you know, I was taught a long time ago um, that there's a message you're trying to convey in the picture, okay? I mean, I know action happens, what have you. The message of a, of a good shot of a touchdown catch is totally derailed by the light coming through his hand. So yeah. in that sense, yeah, you're right. And in pure news sense, it's, you know, yeah. but there's something about me. I mean, it's, okay, I, I get the funkitudinality about it. Yeah. On the other hand, I'm not sure I like it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I, I'm not a gimmicky kind of guy in, in terms of these things. I, yes, I know it's a once in a lifetime fluke, but I don't know, it doesn't work for me. Were it not there, were the light not there, um, it would not be a, would not be a picture at all. Well, <laughs> I, I have a very nice picture. I mean, it's a, you know he's catching a touchdown. Well, you know. you, I mean, is it the winning touchdown? Is it? I mean, this is a, okay. A great picture does not need a caption. Yeah. This right. is a picture that needs a caption because I want to know what the, is, did they win the game on this thing? I mean, I, you can't see his face. It, it def, you know, it, yeah. it breaks all the rules we've been talking about here, um, and it's got this weird kind of you know highlight in it. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work for me. All right, all right. Okay, well that's that's what we've got for this week uh, for this episode. Uh, but send in more. We'll do this again. Uh, a couple of things I'd like to ask, though, is um, send me JPEGs no bigger than uh, about a megabyte, meg and a half. Um, we're showing them on a screen. You're watching them on a screen. They don't have to be giant. They clog up my, my mailbox. Uh, two, put your name in the uh, IPTC data, uh, the caption. This is very well captioned. Um, you don't have to do all that. that this is, a, this is a, a caption for, a, for an agency. But get, at least get your name in there, because once I pull those off the email, it's very hard for me to keep straight who shot what. Um, yeah, that, that would be a J, JPEG attachment. Put your name in there, and uh, you know, in a month or two, we'll do, an, we'll do another bunch, another batch. Thank you all who did contribute. It's been a lot of fun today, and uh, we'll see you soon. Good shooting.